Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about gaming on the brand new Red Magic 5G. We have some of the latest specifications from a smartphone, especially a smartphone that is dedicated for gaming and the ability of getting all the way up to 144 hertz. We're gonna check out a few games here and show you guys basically how they perform on this device and which ones are actually able to push it all the way up to 144 hertz. This is TK and this is the Red Magic 5G. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so they are always notified whenever we have new videos on the channel. So this is a Red Magic 5G. This is made by a company called Nubia and this is the latest iteration of a gaming phone for 2020. Uh, supports 5G with the X55 modem, the Snapdragon 865 for some of the latest uh, specifications. Uh, we have eight gigs of DDR5 RAM as well as basically 128 gigs of internal storage that are running at our UFS 3.0 speeds. Uh, triple camera setups in the back, a 1080p, 144 hertz front uh, display with a front facing camera. We're going to be focusing mostly on gaming today, not necessarily just the overall aesthetics and how the camera and the UI works. Uh, the UI is pretty clean. We have a, basically a customizable background, an app drawer to be able to basically download and install applications directly from the Google Play Store. It was preloaded. Uh, we also have the ability of basically getting a gaming center triggered the moment we actually click this little button. Uh, before we get too far there, let me go talk a little bit more about some of the hardware specifications that we have here that all, also augment the gaming experience. Uh, we'll notice that there is a little bit of a vent here as well as basically two triggers here. There is customizable triggers that we're able to customize directly within the UI, the gaming UI, whenever we turn on the gaming mode. And of course, we have an air, air outtake here and an air intake on the opposite side with a built-in fan. And that's something that Nubia and Red Magic has been doing for some time, including a fan to be able to cool the CPU and the GPU for extended gaming sessions. Um, as far as the actual UI uh, overall, once you use the pins on the bottom, if you have the accessories that are made, specifically last year with the Red Magic 3 and the 3S, you were able to basically put in a dock to be able to provide you uh, Ethernet connectivity as well as basically just more functionality with the headphone jack positioned more at the bottom as opposed to having it positioned on the side. So we notice we have basically a bottom firing speaker as well as an earpiece to give us stereo speakers whenever we're playing games, but we still have access to 3.5mm headphone jack, which is a, definitely a very nice thing. Again. All of this is powered with the X55 modem for 5G in the US, and I've tested this out on T-Mobile in the US. So overall, the experience is gonna be some of the best possible experiences on a mobile device. Turning the gaming center on is very simple. Swift, flip the switch here, and you notice we'll get that nice little logo. And then a gaming center is basically just an aggregate list of all the applications that you have, or all the games that you have in here. Now, you can actually customize it by adding additional ones. You'll notice there is this join function here. But if you scroll further down, you'll notice some other applications that you're able to add in there. Not all of them are games, but again, you can definitely put them in there if you'd like. And if you want to remove something, same exact process, you do that. But once you have it here, you have a way of seeing it in a carousel style or in a grid style. And of course, just puts all the games for you the way you want them. Uh, we have customizable options here. If you click here for the gaming uh, adapter, which unfortunately I don't have, but you are able to purchase directly from Red Magic. And of course, the profile customizations for summary, Red Magic Time, fan configuration, right now I have that off, uh, record settings if you want to be able to play and do re video recording, net connectivity, basic configuration as well as help all the way at the end. Um, initiating is actually pretty simple, you swipe from the right in wherever you are, but you do need to turn on the gaming center. So if you launch the game normally on your smartphone, that's not going to turn on, but to be able to get that, all you have to do is just swipe from the right and then you have access to almost all of the toggles. So we have the enhancement functionality, which gives us the ability of customizing the CPU and the GPU performance, but again, only available in game. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. I wanna show you guys real quick, uh, like a quick game here. So let's open, actually I think PUBG for the most part is one of the most supported ones. So we'll go ahead and open up PUBG and I'm gonna go swipe. You'll notice right there, enhancement is turned on. Do it one more time. And I'm able to go between auto mode, GPU turbo, CPU turbo, or super performance, and basically providing us some of the best experiences. So I'll go ahead and close this option. And uh, what you're saying, you're getting here essentially is that the best performance will be on super performance, but it is going to basically receive, or let's go ahead and hit the update there, consume the most amount of battery. We do have functionalities here with the triggers. Clicking them turns them on. You notice right there, I'm able, able to initiate them. Now, right now they're configured for Asphalt 9, but I can go ahead and configure them again once I'm in the game and it should be pretty easy for me to do. Turn them on and then of course, position them to wherever you want. Let's go ahead and click OK. I'll swipe one more time and we'll go ahead and jump back into the actual game. And of course, we have the ability of using a controller for using it. We have macro configuration. Aiming assist is very nice. You'll be able to basically turn it on and actually have a, a, basically a um, crosshairs in the middle of the screen. Let's go ahead and swipe one more time. Uh, turning on the fan, this will be basically where you're able to cool the system. So we'll go ahead and get open. 
and you can also block calls super snap for uh, basically snapping images as well as basically docking station if you have that in configure the brightness of the display lock touch so for us here this is basically PUBG as you can imagine we'll go ahead and do a quick gaming experience there now even though I'm running the display at 144 Hertz the display will auto tune itself to work with the game at the best possible experience and of course give us the best experience as far as video play on this so we'll go ahead and start PUBG uh, and want to make sure I just have everything so we have aiming assist magic macro here so I'll go ahead and yeah, we can definitely position it the where we want it we can make it bigger smaller I'll go ahead and finish it here and we'll start the game. The other things we're able to do here is turn on 4D Shock uh, in supported games and PUBG is one of them as well as Asphalt Night. So everything looks pretty good. I'm running it on high performance. The fan is on but it isn't actually very very loud. Gaming on the Red Magic 5G is definitely going to be a pleasure. Uh, now, the performance on the actual games was a little bit kind of spaced out. Not everything was running at 144 hertz. Not everything was running at 60 hertz. So overall, what I'm putting in front of you right now is just a list of the games that I was able to test out on this device. So I had all in all about nine games that I played there. So Real Racing 3 ran at about 120 hertz, and it's supposed to actually run at 144 hertz. And it did at the beginning when I first got the device. But for some reason, the latest update, it kind of maxes out at 120. Um, I did confirm with somebody 
capability that does have the Chinese model of this device that it does actually run at 144 hertz there. So definitely not an issue and should be fixed in the near future. Um, Bullet Force as well as Dead Trigger 2 are running as well as Vainglory are all running at 144 hertz or 145 hertz plus or minus a few uh, frames per second there. Um, Asphalt Mine for some reason was only running at 30 which is interesting but I'm hoping to see an update to run at a lot, obviously at a higher refresh rate. Um, Arena Valor ran at 30 as well. Odyssey ran at 60 frames per second as well as PUBG ran at 40 frames per second consistently and that was some of the main benefit here is the ability of playing games and actually enjoying them at the high refresh rate and of course having the large 4500 million battery there will give you the ability of lasting for a lot longer. Um, I did get basically see that the fan will kick in whenever the temperatures do get a little bit high, but it doesn't get loud enough that it overpowers the built-in speakers that we have here. If you're looking for a gaming device in the near future, I think the Red Magic 5G is definitely going to give us the best experience possible. Um, definitely needs more optimization as basically the device becomes more available in the European market. The version that I'm sharing with you guys today is the European model, not the Chinese model. Uh, and from what I understand is that I'm running the latest version of the software, which is version 3.0. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to see more updates in the near future future optimizations of course on game side to be able to get higher refresh rates on the obviously on our red magic 5g uh, let me know in the comments below what do you think of the selection of games that i just shared with you guys again the gameplay wasn't from every single game but the statistics that i'm sharing with you guys there are directly from game bench and game bench providing me the ability of actually capturing the frame rate as well as the performance of these games um, as far as something that i normally cannot get directly from the phone on its own so i want to say thank you very much to game bench for providing the data and of course sharing that with you guys like and subscribe as usual thank you very much for the support and hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next one